Hey everybody, this is Kevin Flerlich. I'm just responding to John Schwabish's last video where he built a Gantt chart. He built the Gantt chart exactly how I would. That was perfectly fine. But um, there was a few things that I noticed that I just kind of wanted to address. So first off, he built it in three different sheets and then brought it onto the dashboard. Um, and uh, one major issue with that is when we sort, we can sort this sheet individually from this sheet. So it'd be nice if we could do this all on one sheet, but I'm going to kind of build this in steps and we'll uh, address some of the things that John mentioned. So first off, we're going to add name and career to the rows. And one of the things that John mentioned was this ABC. How do you get rid of this ABC? Remember, he did this in a, in a single chart. So there are lots of different ways. I have one way that I've always done it. Um, but uh, Jeff Schaefer wrote a blog post, the ABCs on removing the ABCs and text tables. So there's a bunch of different ways. And he did include my way of using what I call a transparent shape. But I'll uh, I'll show a couple. You can just double click here and put quote, quote, and throw that on a label. That'll get rid of it. You can change this to a polygon mark. It'll get rid of it. Uh, the problem with polygons is that your dashboard won't animate, uh, there won't be um, any of those animated transitions. So I try to avoid that. My go to is always a transparent shape, change it to shape. And then I've got these basically transparent shapes. There's, you can't even see them, see? And we apply that and that thing disappears. Now, we don't need that because I'm going to build all this stuff together. One of the other things that, that John mentioned, probably because he didn't want people to sort this individually from this, is how to get rid of these sort controls. You can do that by just going to worksheet and unchecking view sort sort controls. So that'll get rid of that. I'm gonna undo that because I do want the sort sort controls. Uh, one of the other things that John mentioned was he, you know, when he built these in three different sheets, if we go to this sheet, he's add a name here to kind of line up these values. If I stretch this out, you'll see the names. Looks like he might have turned them white. He isn't sure how to get rid of them, so he just sort of stretched this down, turn them white. Well, we can get rid of them just by right-clicking here and unchecking show header. So uh, I think he did that in this as well. If we go here, yeah, we can just uncheck show header. So that's nice. All right, so again, we have these three different sheets, and we can, we can sort them individually. That's really the problem. So I'd like to just build this on one sheet. We could build it to where... You have the name, the career here, and then the Gantt chart, and then these three things over here. It's really a whole heck of a lot easier if we just list all these sort of um, uh, text values out to the left and then show the Gantt chart. So that's all I'm going to do. Uh, so we have name and career. I'm going to put lifetime goals out here and just make this uh, discrete. Um, let's see, overtime goals. I'm going to do the same thing, make it discrete. Actually, we can do all those at the same time if we wanted to. And then make that discrete. So now we have those five fields that he talked about. And uh, I'm just going to throw year up here. To, let's change this to a Gantt type. And then we'll throw duration on size. And there we have it. Now, this is all done in one sheet instead of three sheets. And we can sort uh, by any field that we want. Career, lifetime goals, overtime goals. And everything in the sheet is going to sort with us. So probably a little bit better than using three sheets where you kind of force the, the user to uh, not be able to sort. So that's all I really had. Just a few little things and uh, hope these videos are helpful. Um, see you next time. Thanks.